Hello there, ladies and gents. Welcome to today's video in which I will review, document, and sound demo this beautiful instrument. This is an ESP LTD RL600 Rope Lat Bala Signature Series guitar. Let's get right into the specs and features of this beautiful instrument. Out of the factory, these guitars came equipped with a Floyd Rose 1000 bridge, a single EMG H2 passive humbucker on the bridge, and a single knob that corresponds to it, 24 extra jumbo frets, custom cross and reverse cross inlays, a 43 millimeter neck width, an ebony fretboard, a thin U-neck contour, a maple neck and alder body, a 25 and a half inch scale length, neck through construction, and a reverse headstock with grovely tuners. As of this video coming out, these guitars are no longer in production and they've been discontinued for about nine years now, I believe. I was lucky enough to find a seller that had new old stock, which is where this guitar came from. And this footage came from the first day that I opened it out of its box. So I have since sold this guitar. And yes, I do regret it, but not fully because I needed the college money. And because I treated this guitar very delicately when I had it. Because white LTDs turn yellow over time. I was afraid of the discoloration. And um, it's better off in the hands of somebody that's actually going to play it and doesn't mind the discoloration. The back of the neck on these guitars is unfinished, which makes for a very smooth feeling neck, even when you play this guitar for a long time and your hands get sweaty. The back of the body doesn't have any contours for like your belly or your waist, and it doesn't have any cavities for active electronics. So that's something to keep in mind if you manage to find one of these guitars and want to upgrade it to active electronics. One thing to note is that the random star body shape is huge. So this guitar is resting on a coffin case that was made for basses and it barely fits. So keep that in mind if you're looking for one of these guitars and you find it, you're going to have to get a big case for it. A cool thing about this particular LTD that I've seen in no other LTDs is that it came with a fret guard. So I don't know if this was just a fluke that I got lucky with, but I'm not going to complain. All right, guys, let's get into the tone test demo, then I'll talk more about this beautiful instrument. Thank you. 
of this guitar out there the obvious one is the esp counterpart as well as an esp counterpart that's black and gold which is more associated with rope i will say that these ltds are pretty much on par with alexi's ltds and it's a shame that they're discontinued because they're really cool guitars and they have their own unique twist to the random star i would definitely get one of these if they were reissued in the future maybe one that's black instead of white so I don't have to deal with color discoloration, but uh, yeah, it, it is a great guitar. In case you guys are curious, I bought this guitar for 800 US dollars brand new and sold it for a thousand. So I did make a little bit of a profit. I got to document this guitar. I got to play it for a little bit. Ultimately, I'm happy with what became of this guitar because I got to do all those things as well as it ended up in the hands of somebody who's actually going to use it to its full potential. And again, I'm just happy that I got to own it for a little bit. So final thoughts on this guitar, in terms of sound, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. The EMG H2 just sounds like you would expect, nothing special. If I were to get one of these guitars again, I would definitely upgrade the EMG to an EMG Alexi. So I would have a lot more tonal options, but that's my grading for the sound, 8.5. In terms of construction, I give this guitar 9 out of 10. It's very well built, and it'll last you a very long time if you take good care of it. In terms of aesthetics, I give this guitar an 8.5 out of 10. I would give it a higher grading, but I just hate the paint formula turning yellow over time. Outside of that, this guitar is just fucking gorgeous in terms of shape and uh, everything else. In terms of feel, I give this guitar a 9 out of 10. It feels great to play and hold, and there's no neck dive. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, comments, concerns regarding this guitar, Leave them in the comment section. Besides that, you guys take care and I'll see you in the next video.